The gentleman from Massachusetts is recognized. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Let me recognize the gentleman from California, a CPA, I believe, Mr. Sherman, for one minute. The gentleman from California is recognized. For three days and three long nights, every class of Republican came to this floor to argue about which of them hated the national debt more. And now is the first thing. They bring forth a bill that will increase the national debt by $1.6 trillion, according to six bipartisan secretaries of the Treasury. Working people can't evade taxes. They get W-2s and 1099s. Republicans support this bill because every time a billionaire successfully cheats on his taxes, a member of the Freedom Caucus earns his wings. As co-chair of the Bipartisan CPA Caucus and former head of the second largest tax agency in America, I'll say we need staff to put the service back into the Internal Revenue Service. One employee for every 2,000 tax returns filed. That's the staffing level that Ronald Reagan insisted upon. It's the level Democrats would restore. Trump took outrageous positions on his returns and counted on a light audit. Whereas Ronald Reagan paid his taxes and staffed the IRS. Don't make honest taxpayers feel like suckers. Stand with Ronald Reagan and vote no. Our gentleman reserves, the gentleman from Nebraska is recognized.